150 persons comprising of widows, youths, as well as persons with disability who are living below the poverty line at Kuchigoro Community, a suburb in the FCT, has been equipped with skills acquisition by the Grace Anthony Foundation to enable them function in offices of the society. The announcement was made in Abuja by the managing director of the foundation, Sylvester Ekemoye, as part of the foundation's mandate to touch the lives of the less privileged in the society. According to Ekemoye, over 40.2% of the population are living in poverty, as reported by the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics in its 2021 report. The foundation said it is determined to address these issues by breaking the barrier that creates the class structure between the rich and the poor in the society. Meanwhile, other organizations also give support to the initiative. If you train these people on their skills and they are able to start their business on their own with the little money that they have, they are all being given to them. And I show you that when they start their business, if the business is flourishing, they are totally going to a very important place. By so doing, they are reducing this large number of unemployment in the country. So that is how we go to working on like this by creating joy for skill acquisition, which is part of what we are doing to the community. We take hospitals to communities, to areas. Before we do that, we do a high survey. We go around the community, check the state and all that. We check what is coming up with the in the area. When we take one of your area here, we find out that skill acquisition, joblessness is one of the things that we must bring into the to resolve the problem that it is for them. That is why, as there are some areas that we find out that their health issues is their problem, we bring in nurses, we bring in doctors, we bring in everything free of charge. We treat them, we provide the job for them and necessary care. The ministry will continue to work out modalities and I provide the opportunities that will improve the livelihood of widows, vulnerable groups in our society. Furthermore, our doors are wide open for collaboration with the Grace Anthony Foundation, CSOs, NGOs and other partners who are active on humanitarian issues to advocate and promote humanitarian assistance to widows and the vulnerable. I call on all sovereign to put more effort in alleviating the suffering of Nigerians, especially widows and girls. The SNIDAN as an agency established to facilitate and promote the development of the micro, small and medium enterprises while linking them to resources required for their growth and development, will continue to give necessary support that will facilitate MSME development. While we congratulate Grace and Tony Foundation once again, we assure you that we will continue to do the need to be necessary to complement the efforts of the NGO so that uh, they can benefit from some of our uh, empowerment programs. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.